Hey everybody, Mark Gilba here at Gilba Realty. I want to do a quick video today of um, why real estate prices must come down. Okay, why they have to come down. Now, let me give you a couple examples. Let me show you a pending sales graph over the last five years. Okay, this is where we're at. So this is pending sales at May 2020. This was locked down COVID. Okay, still going to have sales because we had a lot of things on our contract previously back here, okay? This pre-COVID. This is during the middle of it, I mean, lockdown. This is where we are today. Okay? It's for the Syracuse market. So if you look, we're down below lockdown levels and pending sales. Let's look at closed sales. There's COVID. Okay? Pretty bad. That's where we are today. We're below closed sales of COVID lockdowns. Okay? Um, look at sales price. Okay. There's the dip of COVID. See a little dip in here. Okay. But since COVID, this is what it's been going. Went up and up and up. So let me show you a chart. Let me show you a, gra um, a spreadsheet I created. Let me show you why prices have to come down on real estate. Or the market's going to be in, even in more trouble, in my opinion. Okay. There's a lot of videos out there on real estate crashes. I'm a big fan that the real estate crash could probably be avoided if things are done properly or if the markets flow properly. The problem is the markets, even in Wall Street, even in the stock market, they are not properly flowing anymore. They've all been manipulated with money printing by the government. Okay. So let's look at an example. $220,000 house, same house, two different loans. You finance... 5% down. Okay, this is a typical 30-year loan, 5% down. You're financing 209, 3.5%, which was about 9 or 10 months ago. I can get 3.5% rate for my clients. Today, they're about 6.9, and they could buy the rate down a little bit, but we're not going to do that because that, that costs money. Okay, but 3.5%, zero points for both loans, 6.9, zero points. This is a difference in payments. Now, this could really could be the same house within an 8 to 9-month difference. $438 difference in principal and interest payment. That's a lot. It's quite a bit. So let me also tell you that for every $1,000 financed in your loan, you raise your mortgage payment $6.50 if your rate's at 6.9. Okay? So if I'm $438 above what this house would have cost eight, nine months ago, then prices should come down, should bring you back down to where it's affordable. Keep it affordable. Because the communities and your cities and your areas around it, the market will dictate what you sell your house for. Okay? And if for $438 above, and for every $1,000 I finance in my loan at $6.50 in my payment, then here's what I have. There's this is where the this house should be, to keep it where the where the payment was. Okay. So if I take this four thirty nine figure, I divide it by six fifty. It gives me sixty seven. I have to times it by the thousand dollars in my loan. So this house, just based on this rate doubling, should have come down about sixty seven to sixty eight thousand dollars in loan amount. Or 142000 So in order for me to keep up with this 938 figure, which is affordable for many today, this house would have had to have a loan amount of 142 k Or a purchase price of about 155 give or take. 160 Okay, does that make sense? The house would have to come down like 60 to 65, 70 grand. In order for this house to be affordable in this community. Um, and that's the battle that we're running into now in this market. If this does not change, if this here, this scenario does not start seeing a reversal of this ever, ever up and up and up sales price. I personally feel that this the real estate market is going to be in trouble and these pending and closed sales are going to dramatically drop even worse. Now, remember, this is pending sales, and we're already down below COVID 
lockdown levels. Okay? So please take this into consideration that this has to happen. These prices have to come down. Um, I'm not going to say there's a real estate crash because, and everyone, nobody knows. I don't even know. But I think if there is going to be one, then it's going to be the fact that people can't afford the new payments that the Federal Reserve has created with this interest rate rise, which typically in the old days would be countered by a lowering of the price. Okay. So anyways, have fun. Mark at Gilbert Realty. If you have any questions, um, you can always reach me at the information down below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.